Hello everyone, <clears throat> this is Meryl again. I have created a short video to help you with your an upcoming assignment um, where you'll be developing keywords. And there's <clears throat> two main reasons that you want to develop keywords. One is um, it will help you focus your topic. Many of you are probably starting with a very, <clears throat> very broad topic. So if you begin to ask questions about the topic, think about what you know, what you don't know, and come up with a list of keywords that relate to it, um, that will help you create a topic that is you can then research on a deeper level. Um, it, it's also used, good to develop keywords because they will you will use them when you begin searching the databases. Um, the more relevant your keywords are, uh, combining them together to create effective searches will give you the best and most relevant and useful results that you can use in your research. So let's take a look at the assignment. <clears throat> um, the very first thing it the assignment asks you to do is to um, list a topic that you're interested in and while it says on here that you don't have to use <clears throat> this topic in your research paper if you do have something in mind a topic that you're interested in um, I would definitely recommend using it because then you can begin to see what kind of information is out there and developing keywords and you'll be a little bit ahead of the game but again you're not you're not locked into this topic so I'm going to look at therapy animals. This is a rather broad topic at this stage, but I've done a little bit of reading at this point, and this is something I'm interested in looking at in a little bit deeper. So the next question then asks us to come up with questions or issues that I would want to explore about the topic and to list at least three. So I'm going to start with some very basic kind of questions just to help get me <clears throat> get me in, into some of the information. Um, and one is uh, what type of animals are therapy animals? Another question might be um, who do therapy animals help? Another question might be how do therapy animals help? So these are kind of three basic questions but at least they're beginning to um, have me look into this topic a little bit deeper. Uh, the next question wants us to list two or three sources that we found that were helpful and remember at this stage you're not doing in-depth research. You don't have to find um, 20 page research studies on your topic. You're really doing a lot of um, browsing in articles but also just on the web. Um, <clears throat> Also on your resource guide, there's a lot of uh, websites and things that I've linked up. Um, for example, I came across this article which talks about autism and dogs, so I would just list this as one of my resources. And I would want to note that I found it on the bark. And the reason for doing this is <clears throat> I can then, when I begin to do my research, I can go back and refer to these three sources um, that might, again, get me started and get me some background information on my topics. Okay, so now we get to the heart of the assignment, which is to build some keywords from this big broad topic of therapy animals. And the way I'm going to build the keywords is by answering those three questions, and those will kind of lead me in a lot of different directions. So to start with, what type of animals are therapy animals? Well, again, I've done some reading, and I've learned about dogs, I've learned about cats, I've learned about dolphins, and I've learned about horses. Well, let me just also say that clearly an important keyword or small phrase is therapy animals since that's my topic. But then I'm going to get again a little more specific. So I've learned about dogs, cats, horses, dolphins. Um, <clears throat> who do therapy animals help? So that's asking what kind of can we name some populations of people who are specifically helped by therapy animals. So in that respect I can get more specific and I can talk about the elderly. I can talk about um, um, people with cancer. I can talk about children. I can talk about veterans. Okay, There's probably more but this is a starting point. Then my last question is how do therapy animals help? And again I've done enough reading to know they provide physical support they provide emotional support and they provide mental health support. Also this question can lead me to looking at what kind of diseases or um, disabilities do therapy animals help with and there we can talk about um, depression, 
autism. Remember, I did find that short piece on the bark about autism. Uh, Post-traumatic stress disorder. I came across this quite a bit when looking particularly at veterans. So there we have um, several, we have a lot of nice list of keywords. The assignment wants you to have at least eight, um, but we have a nice list of keywords. And then I'm going <clears> to <throat> help me begin to take that broad topic of therapy animals and focus it a little bit. And I'm going to do exactly that. And I'm going to say, I'm interested in dogs. That's a, my type of therapy animals. And I'm interested in children. And I'm going to look specifically at autism because that one article I found really w was interesting to me. And that's going to lead me to some kind of a research topic such as how therapy dogs help children with autism. Okay? So coming up with keywords, you can you can pose these kind of you can answer the questions that you posed and d develop keywords from that or if you would if you don't want to specifically let the questions be your guide you don't need to do that also when you're coming up with keywords you're really brainstorming it's very open-ended there's no right or wrong answer you want to come up with as many words as possible and again it's they will help you begin to think more specifically about your topic and think what am I interested in about this broader topic and then once you have a more focused topic which I have now I'm going to probably begin to work with develop more keywords even now that I know what about therapy animals I'm looking at so that could lead me to developing keywords that relate more more to um, so things like child development um, social skills family social interaction pets the cost of maybe having um, a therapy animal training of therapy animals um, a lot of different different things but again I'm looking at my more specific topic of how therapy dogs help children and I'm can then begin to look at issues about autism family dynamics um, children with autism and then cost and training of having a pet who helps a child with autism so these are just what you'll see as you kind of will start working with keywords and then as you develop your topic you probably will want to come up with more keywords um, and then take them and begin to do some really good searching in the databases which you will be doing in, a, in a, about a week or so after this this assignment is is completed so if you have trouble coming up with keywords um, or or short phrases uh, do some more reading on your topic or you can also contact me I am always happy to help you uh, here's my contact information it's on it's in your canvas class but it's also on the home page of your resource guide and send me an email and we can um, have an appointment and chat about it or we can also work over email whichever is more convenient um, also after you finish this assignment or you finish the uh, worksheet rather uh, go back to your um, submit it to the you're in your Canvas class, and I believe your instructor has more ins more um, instructions about where to go from there. So, um, thanks for listening, and have fun with this assignment. Bye bye.